Today's episode of the PSG Career Mode is brought to you by G2A and the Pack Market. Use discount codes JaredHD on both sides for a discount. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number six. I'm going to run out of fingers to do this with soon, but welcome to episode number six of the PSG One Season for Glory career mode series. Last episode proved that this side has promise. We started off the season pretty slow, but we had two games in the last episode where we won 4-0, so... Let's see if we can keep that up this episode. As you can see from the fixture bar down below, we have some winnable but difficult games coming up today. If you do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. I know YouTube sub boxes and all that jazz have been screwing up lately, so all the support is definitely very well received. And also make sure that you do subscribe if you are new around here. We are closing in, 20, in on 24,000 subscribers, which is crazy to see. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into today's first episode against Olympic Marseille. So here we are at home, the Parc de Prince, another league un clash. As I said, it is against Marseille. It is going to be quite a difficult game. Marseille are a top-notch side, but... After a couple of performances that we put on last episode, I am confident that we can get the job done. Looking at the league on table, Marseille are at the top. We, of course, had a slow start of the season, so we're just recovering. But this is an important game for us, as we want to slow them down so that we can catch up on them. Here is our starting 11 for today's matchup. I am rocking my strongest possible starting 11, as we do have a big international break after this game, so we don't have to worry about fatigue, we just have to worry about three points. And then for Marseille, here is their side, so they have Steve Mandanda in goals, Nicholas Nkulu is their centre-back, Rolando, uh, Diara, Remy Cabea, Steven Fletcher up front, the friggin' Sunderland striker, Zlatan, what can he do? He's got space to work with, Ibra, through to Neymar, he's on side, he's gonna hit it, Neymar scores his first goal! As a PSG player, obviously he is absolutely stoked about that. So am I. Ibra really setting that one up. I thought Neymar might have been on offside. As we look on the replay, he is just onside, thankfully. But what a great finish on the angle there. I was considering squaring it to Bale. Just decided to go with Neymar, and it proved to be a good decision. 1-0, fellas. Oh, good tackle from Verratti. I was not expecting that. Goes to Bale. Good save from Steve Mandanda. That opportunity came out of thin air. Di Maria. Go on to Ibra. Come on. Pass that one to Bale. Bale to Pogba. Pogba through there. Neymar's going to cross it in. Bale. Headers it. Oh, what a goal. Gareth Bale gets his head on it. Feeling like an absolute boss. What a cross. That run from Neymar. Just the curve on it as we look on the replay. The first time cross curve from Neymar is awesome. And that is just a class header there from Gareth Bale. Putting it in the right position and doubling our lead there. Here we go, Bale. What can he do? He goes, I see you. Come on, Ibra. Brings it down. Hits it. Oh, good save. Go for the... No, I was going to go for a bicycle there. Ibra still got it, though. Cutting through. Hitting it. Blocked. Get there, Bale. No, the keeper's going to get there. Rabio with the corner here to whip it in. Can we get a third goal and secure the points? Pogba, bicycle. That was a bit out there. Oh, good stuff from Pogba. He's going to thread that one. Go on, Engender. Keeper's not coming out. Taken out. Is that going to be another red card? There's been so many red cards lately. Yes, it is. Straight red card. Get off the field, mate. Isla, see you later, mate. Go back to QPR. We have a free kick right on the edge here. Can we make it 3-0? Bale hits it. Come on, Bale. Oh, just over. There it is, fellas. That is full time. We get the three points in a great victory over Marseille there. We definitely deserved the win. And I'm happy the lads are really starting to reach their full gear, reach their full potential. I've just noticed this article in the news section saying that Edison Cavani is homesick. I haven't received any player conversation messages from Cavani regarding this issue, so 
It should be interesting to see what he says. If we have to let him go, that would suck, but it's not the biggest loss in the world. I wouldn't mind getting rid of Cavani and maybe bringing in someone like Lewandowski or Suarez, something like that, to, someone like that to really help us push on in the second half of the season because we're lacking numbers in the striker position. The second matchup in today's episode is on the road. We're coming up against one of the sides in French football that have one of the best logos in French football, SC Bastia. Here is the league on table. Sorry, no, it is the Bastia lineup. Guess they're not showing the table anymore. So here is their lineup and Honestly, I don't recognize any of the players in this starting 11. I am hopeful and confident that we can get a big goal victory. As you can see, Edison Cavani is back into our starting 11. He has returned from injury. A little bit rotational this side, but should still be able to absolutely crush Bastia. Touch wood. Running through. Go on, Aurier. Pass now on to Verratti. Going to Cavani, who goes back to Verratti. Verratti hits it. Oh, what a goal! Marco Verratti scores the goal with our first attack of the game. Three minutes into it, and he bangs one from distance. That is something that Verratti has been well known for to start off this series, getting a good goal on the edge of the box. And what a fantastic finish that was. Couldn't ask for a better start. 1-0. Augustine, Alex Zawa here. Going through to Lucas. Go on, Lucas. Cutting back in, Lucas. Finessing. Oh, that would have been a great goal. Good tackle there from Kazawa. He's going to play that one through. Bit of space for Lucas. Roulette's past the defense. He's going to lay that one. Hits it for Randy. Scores another goal. The weirdest technique. That ball just rolled so weirdly, but... Verratti picks up a brace. We are 2 0 up. Lucas really deserves a lot of credit. I was going to go with Lucas there, but I decided to lay it off at the last second. When I roulette, I think I was already past that defender, but I want to have a look at that finish. That ball just dribbled into the bottom left hand corner. Look at that. I've never seen the ball hit like that on this FIFA. Full time, fellas. I bet you weren't expecting that. There hasn't been a highlight since the 28th minute. That was honestly the most boring 45 minutes I have played on FIFA in a long time. Every time I try to play a through ball or a, a final pass through to the attacker, it would just get intercepted, which was very frustrating, and they were horrible on attack. So, at least we got three points. Marco Verratti picking up a brace, but a very boring game in that. Here we go, lads. The message from Cavani has finally come through, so he's not happy at the moment. He's homesick. He loves, he loves the club, but he's struggling not having friends and family near him all the time. He's not used to the weather. I thought France was a fairly sunny country. He used to live in Italy as well when he plays for Napoli, so I don't know what he's on about there. I don't know what's going to happen with Cavani. Looks like he might be departing in January, but we'll just play it by ear. The third and final matchup in today's episode. It is a big game in the Champions League group stages. The Portuguese Giants, FC Porto, traveling to the Parque Prunes, taking us on. Here is our group table right now. And as you can see, us and Porto running away with things. We win here. And that basically books us into the next round of the Champions League. We're in a good position right now. Here is our starting 11 for today's game. Back in there with a pretty strong side. Giving Thiago Silva a bit of a rest though. Mark Kinyos and David Luiz are the centre backs. Thiago Mota coming into the side as well. And here is the Porto lineup. So the legendary goalkeeper, Ike Casillas, in goals. Who else do they have? Abubakar. We all know how bad he was in the Heather Berlin career mode series. They got Herrera, Brahimi. They got a very strong side. Bale. He's going to pass that one. Keep going, Ibra. Through to Bale. Come on, Bale. Hits it. Scores the goal. There it is. An early, early goal in this game. Gareth Bale sliding that one home, giving us the 1-0 lead. Four minutes into this game against Porto. Pogba over the top. Zlatan brings it down, passes that one to Bale. He's going to go back to Zlatan. Bells it, but puts too much power into it. Bale, here we go. Pass that one to Ibra. Go on, Ibra. Across the face. Bale! Blocked. Get the rebound. Ibra, no. 
Di Maria holding it up. He's going to pass that one back to Mota. He's going to line it up. Belts it. Oh, what a save. Casillas. So we have the corner. Di Maria whip it in. Can we get another goal? Bale. Header. Save from Casillas. Good tackle from Alaba. Mota. To Neymar. Cutting around. Good stuff. Neymar. Belts it. Neymar. What a finish. That is why we pay the big bucks for him. He finds the top right corner. Like a freaking missile. What a freak. Oh, that placement is just top notch. Nothing Ika Casilla could do about that one. And that is 2 0, lads. I swear, the past few days, FIFA has been improved a lot. I know that they patched a few things, and I feel like the long shots are one thing that are a lot more effective. Ever since Thursday, long shots have just been OP. Good stuff, Zlatan. Passing that one to Bale. Cutting around. Go on, Bale. Mota. Pogba. Hits that one. Oh, that would have been a good goal. They're running down the line. They're going to cross that one. Back post. They get the header on a weird angle. Get it out. Good save from Trap. Clear that one, Pogba. Zlatan. Pass that one to Neymar. Neymar. Over the top to Zlatan. Go on. Hit it. Hit it, Zlatan. Oh, save from Casilla. Can we get the rebound? Yes, we do. That's going to be 3-0. Not quite sure what Zlatan was... I'm sorry, not Zlatan. What Ika Casilla was doing. Just standing watching that one. But you know what? I am happy with that. It fell perfectly to us. And we have the 3-0 win. Basically going to basically gonna put us into the next round. Go on, Rabio. Can he make it four? Great ball over the top to Bale. He's getting out muscled. But he's going to get there. Taken down. But we've still got the ball. Rabio crossing that one. Back post on gender. Scores the goal. What a header. Great ball in from Stambouli or Rabio. I can't remember which one it was. But that is a 4-0 lead against Porto. Get out of town, son. There it is, fellas. That is a huge result there. A 4-0 victory over FC Porto. These are the type of results that I really am happy with and these are the results that I expected at the start of the season very happy that we beat Porto a quality side like Porto 4-0 but like I said at the start of the season I want to have such a good side that we can be winning the Champions League final like 8-0 and beating Porto 4-0 is definitely a step in that direction Anyways, fellas, we are going to wrap up today's episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. Also, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. It's good to see that we are heading in the right direction with our results. Really building in some good form. And we're, trying, we're actually seeing who the good players in this team are. Anyways, lads, make sure that you check out my social media links. They will be in the description as per normal. Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.